Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another episode of What Does Dash Dash Really Mean? We'll be right back. All right. Now, in today's video, we are going to learn about the meaning and how to use the word Abunuasi. 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 Now, Abunuasi is a noun and it means a trickster or someone who likes to joke around in a much more deceiving way so a trickster a word for a trickster or someone who likes to joke around in a deceiving way in Swahili we call him or her Abunwasi now I want you to listen to me very carefully here. Abunwasi was actually a real person. He was a real individual. He was a, a man of Arabic origin and was known as Abu Nuas. And uh, it is said that he was a, a great poet but a very controversial one. He was a very great poet and uh, there are still existing uh, poets attributed to Abu Nuas that still exist to this day. But he was uh, very controversial. And I'm not here to talk about Abu Nuas as an individual as an Arab poet, but I'm here to talk about the word Abu Nuasi in Swahili. Now you can see, as you can see here, this is one word. His real name was Abu Nuas, but in Swahili we combined those two names to have one noun, just one noun Abu Nuasi and you can use this for both male and female Abu Nuasi Abu Nuasi which in Swahili it means a trickster or someone who likes to make jokes in a deceiving way now let's take a look at a few examples on how to use the word Abu Nuasi Umekua Abu Nuasi. 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 Which means, have you become a trickster? Meaning, you have some deceiving stories, some funny deceiving stories full of jokes and trustworthy tells when someone is asking you umekua abu nuasi they mean they don't really believe in the story you are telling them and they think you are joking they think you are trying to trick them you are trying to deceive them with your funny uh, interesting uh, story Okay, so when someone is asking you, Umekua Abu Nuasi, they mean, have you become a trickster? Acha hadithi zako za Abu Nuasi hapa. Acha hadithi zako za Abu Nuasi hapa. Acha hadithi zako za Abu Nuasi hapa acha hadithi zako za abunuasi hapa 
Now you can see the word abunuasi being used here in a sentence. Now this sentence means stop your tricky stories here. Stop telling lies. Stop being deceiving. Acha hadithi zako za abunuasi hapa. Acha hadithi zako za abunuasi hapa. Usiwe kama abunuasi buwana. Usiwe kama abunuasi buwana. Usiwe kama abunuasi buwana. Usiwe kama abunuasi buwana. Now, this sentence means don't be like abunuasi. The word buwana here in this context, it just simply means come on. Don't be like abunuasi. Usiwe kama abunuasi buwana. Usiwe kama abunuasi buwana. Come on, don't be like a bonoise. Don't be deceiving. Don't be a trickster. Someone will tell will say this to you if you have told them a story or something and they somehow don't really believe in what you are saying. Usiwe kama abunuasi hapa. You probably sound too good to be true or too bad to be true. So the word abunwasi means a trickster, someone who likes to joke around in a deceiving way. But remember, abunwasi comes from uh, a real Arab poet uh, who it is said to have been a great Point, but also very controversial all right well that's it in this video if you like the video please go ahead and subscribe to my channel uh, stay connected with me as much as you can and like the video share the video and please do not forget to sign up for our newsletter the link will be in the description down below and if you have any question please let me know in the comment section down below. And you can try to come up with your own sentence and put it down in the comment section. And I will try to correct you uh, if, if, if possible. And, uh, and yeah, just come up uh, with your own thing. And uh, let me know if you need more help and if you uh, have any more questions. Again, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Kwaheri.